Hey everyone. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about the modulo function, um, specifically in Ruby, and how you can use that to solve this challenge, the time convert challenge. So basically, the time um, the time convert challenge is asking for you to take a number and then determine how many hours and minutes um, pass for that number. So for example, you have 126, and in this case, you have two hours and six minutes. So if you had something like 61, this would be one minute. Uh, one hour and one minute because 60 minutes are in an hour. So to solve this we're going to use the modulo function. So basically what that is is the modulo operation returns the remainder after a division. So if you had something like uh, return num divided by let's just say 60. So to determine how many hours uh, are within a certain number you just divide it by 60 because 60 minutes within an hour. So we give it 61 divided by 60, we should get 1. It doesn't, uh, it, it gives us the integer value. So 61 divided by 60 is 1. So this is 1 hour. So if we gave it 120, this is 120 minutes. The uh, input is in minutes. So 120 divided by 60 will give us 2. So we have 2 hours. If you do something like 65, it'll still give you 1 because 65 divided by 60 gives you uh, 1 hour and then what we need the module operation now for is to get this remainder 5. So to get the remainder after division, use the operation, um, the percentage sign. And this is basically saying number modulo 60. So this will divide the number by 60 and then return the remainder. So in this case, 65 divided by 60 and the remainder, it'll, 60 goes into 65 once and the remainder is 5. So this returns 5. So if we do 61, we get one, one minute, uh, there's one number remaining. If we do 120, we get zero because this 120 divided by 60, uh, 60 goes into it evenly. But if we have 122, we get a remainder of two. So now you can see, uh, you might have some insight into how to solve this challenge. To, de to determine how many hours and minutes exist within a certain number, which is provided in, um, the input is provided in minutes, you first determine how many hours passed and then how many minutes remain. So we can return number divided by 60. So this is what we'll do. We'll do minutes equals, or sorry, we'll do hours equals num divided by 60 and then minutes equals num mod 60. So now we can return hours plus we need to return it with a colon and then minutes. So now 122, oh, we have to convert it to a string. So we're getting a number and in Ruby, you have to specifically um, convert a number to a string because here we're trying to combine these numbers with a string. So we'll convert hours to string, minutes to string, and we get 2, 2. So let's, pr let's see if, these, if this works for these test cases. So we have 126 and this should return 26 and that's what we get and then 45 should return 045 yeah and so this works because um, to determine how many hours exist within a certain uh, period of minutes you just divide it by 60 because there are 60 minutes in an hour and then to, to get the remainder you use the module operation which is this percentage sign uh, and this returns the remainder so now, if we submit the code, we should get a perfect score because this is the, um, this is how you determine how many hours and minutes exist. And so if the input were in seconds, for example, if it were like 140 seconds, we would have to convert this number to minutes and then uh, this would be the solution for that.